temporary headquarters here at the church as Grant and me plan out the next stages of this overland campaign. Coming up from the American Battlefield Trust. It's hard to imagine the sense of excitement that Timothy O'Sullivan must have been feeling on May 21st, 1864. He's a photographer, and here we are in the Massaponics Baptist Church. And on that date, he ascended these steps specifically because there was a moment that he could capture. The army is on the move, and he was able to point his camera out this window and secure a series of photos that he called a council of war. This is May 21st, 1864. The Battle of Spotsylvania is coming to an end. The Battle of North Anna is about to heat up. The traffic of this massive army is moving along this road, soon to turn south toward Guinea Station. And in the meantime, General U.S. Grant and General George Gordon Meade established temporary headquarters here at the church. And in this incredible moment, captured on glass three times, by Timothy O'Sullivan, you can see U.S. Grant leaning over George Meade's shoulder, apparently examining a map. You can see General Grant sit down and write a dispatch concerning the Ninth Army Corps' next movement. You can see that Grant then puts a cigar in his mouth, and next to him is Assistant Secretary of War Charles Dana, kind of keeping an eye on the Army. Next to him, John Rawlins, Grant's right-hand man, and many other people uh, visible at the same time. You can see the traffic on the Massaponics Church Road stop and go. And you can see it's blurred in one photo and static in others. And there's so much more to see for which I'll let Chris talk about. The Massaponics Church is one of those great witnesses to history. It's situated about eight miles south of Fredericksburg, Virginia, and the congregation was founded in 1788. Though the building that we're near was established in 1859. The first pastor in this building was a guy named Joseph Billingsley, who was like many Baptist pastors in this area and had a number of congregations. In fact, he was the first pastor of the famous Salem Church that saw a battle in May of 1863. But in May of 1864, this was the nerve center for the Union Army of the Potomac. You see around here staff officers, and you don't normally get to see active field service with many of these men. So when O'Sullivan arrived here, he's able to capture in real time, in a real setting, these men at work. Along the Telegraph Road and along the Massaponics Church Road, we can see the Fifth Army Corps moving its wagons and ambulances from Spotsylvania Courthouse, one battle ending, to a new battlefield at the North Anna River, which will kick off on May the 23rd. We noticed the Maltese Cross of the Fifth Army Corps that was led by Governor Kimball Warren. It might even make out there on the side of it, it might say First Division of that Fifth Army Corps. Near those wagons, you might notice some men wearing fezes. One man is faced away, another is facing towards the camera with his gun at right shoulder shift. Those are men of the 114th Pennsylvania, known as the Kalazuovs. The Kalazuovs are a veteran unit who've served here at Fredericksburg and at the Peach Orchard at Gettysburg. Now they are part of the Provost Guard, overseen by the greatest living fossil of the Cenozoic era, a guy named Marcina Patrick. Their job is to deal with rebel prisoners, as well as to keep the security around this area, because we have some of the highest ranking officers in the Union Army sitting here at Massaponics Church. Near them will also be horsemen. You might notice a man with a pistol up on his belt, as well as a long saber. He was either part of the 4th Pennsylvania or the 6th U.S. Cav. They would have been down here as part of that headquarters guard as well. And in fact, some of the members of the 4th PA Cav went inside of this church and added their soldier graffiti, signed their names and small sayings inside of the Massaponics Church. You can also see a man looking and bending over with Grant and B. You might notice the top of his hat. 
it looks like it's a little bit shiny. It's probably a rain cover. He may have been expecting rain because there's a lot of rains that have come through here during the time of Spotsylvania Courthouse. Another man sitting looking at the camera has a sash across his, his body, most likely the officer of the day an important task to make sure that everything is being taken care of down here. So we see many men reading maps, some staff officers simply staring and trying to look important. Others who are up to a task as Grant and Meade plan out the next stages of this 1864 Overland campaign as they push on towards Richmond. And you know, Chris, a lot of people say on social media or otherwise, which photo they wish would have been taken during the Civil War, and they're very wide. Well, had O'Sullivan not gone to that window and secured these photos, this would have been one of them. An incredible moment right in the middle of what has to be one of the most persistent and certainly the most costly campaign of the Civil War. Get inspired at battlefields.org.